Good morning, my students. Today we are continuing studying on the program Lira Sapphir. And so uh, today we have a third lesson. We will continue creating the first level. On the previous three lessons, we finished creating the basement level, circle level, and so. Uh, and also we started creating the first level with, um, we finished creating the monolithic columns beams, walls, and also started creating non-bearing walls, which are made from the bricks. Today we will continue adding the walls, uh, partitions, stairs, and the slab of the first level. Okay, let's finish creating the stairs to the basement levels, because on the previous lessons we did not make this um, not add this element. So what we need to do, we need to select the uh, slab of the basement level. We'll choose the first story, open it, go to the slab and make the end hated. So now we can see it with, um, with the option top page, top view. And now, we need to do the opening in this plate to have opportunity to go from the first level to the basement level. Now we add the option opening, then we press button on the plate. Now we see the, our slab. By the left button of the mouse, we press one time on the uh, slab. We see that uh, it became colored. And now we show by using the option, rectangular option of the opening, we choose uh, the opening where it should be located. So our opening is already created. Now we need to put the stairs in this opening. So what we will to do, we use the option uh, stairs. We use um, um, new stairs. Then we write the height of our um, sub level or basement level. If we not know the striped light of the lens, we cannot we can not use it actually without the lens stairs. Or it can be made by us automatically. The width of my the width of my stairs is one hundred. 1,225 millimeters. Here I see the uh, width of my stairs. This is 200, 1,225 uh, millimeters. If you have no information about uh, your dimensions, you can choose the option dimension and choose it by yourself, like I did it. Here we can find the width of your stairs. Then again, go to create, use option stairs. It's uh, easy to me to find the base point. I choose the right one. And make some closer and put it here. Also, additional information if you see, I uh, choose the first layer, go down and then. Uh, to the basement level, you can use this option to rotate how on how you want it. Actually, you can rotate on the zero point. 
for example, if you will, uh, now I will select my stairs. Opening. I have two openings. So, um, okay, I will previous go back. When I have no stairs, and we'll show to you how we can rotate it. I choose this stairs. We can rotate it. Look, choose the um, variant how we will use it. I rotate it on 100. 80 degree right and also you can make this symmetry like this also will be work and now you I use it okay let's go to next one we have two entrances in our in our building, and also we need first of all create the opening. We use option opening, then we press left button to the plate and show the opening size. Then we use again option, stairs, and apply it here. Okay, that's all. Okay, our stairs is ready. So I press button on the first story and we pay it all. Mm -hmm. So now we need to finish creating our um, partitions. So our partitions will be adding by non-structural wall. Non-structural wall, the thickness of our walls will be, let's check it, use edit, mission. 100 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay. 100 millimeters. Our wall. Right here, 100 millimeters. Then we we'll go to the materials. In uh, this time you can use various types of materials. The silicate brick, ceramic brick. So um, I think I, I will use this ceramic brick or maybe silicate brick. Okay. We'll use silicate brick and create it by using the option rectangular. Rectangular option, or not? No, there's this like something like this. Is um, okay, that part. Okay. Then we will add the uh, doors. Now we use our openings without door. We create our walls without doors.
Okay, so now we we need uh, to fight the both beams. So because beams are not give us opportunity to create the right height of it. So let's check the height. The height of my wall three. 100 millimeters, mm -hmm. okay. And what about this wall? It's also 300 millimeters, mm -hmm. okay, right. Everything is good. But we need to increase the lens. Or maybe first of all, we need finished by the non bearing walls because we are not finished it yet. Is it from the maybe left part? Mm -hmm. That is good. First one. Second one. One go next. Your structure, but this is not actually concrete. Okay, let's select it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should select this one. Yes. Okay. And change the material. We can look. Now let's see the material is changed. But that's all. And also check the uh, choose the uh, silicate brick, have select OK and press press button enter.
Let's check. You see that our material is um, changed. I don't know why there's two balls. I think we will shoot create another one ball. Run it ball. Choose the from the wall of the left from the axis. So we should add all the walls actually, because in some places we are not edited. That is not so good. My point not need to go upstairs, I will do it. Okay, also we need to add the external walls. Our external wall is the complex wall, but we'll not use the complex wall. We we'll try to use uh, its uh, the non-structural wall or just no bearing wall. Okay, but made from the let's see this dynamic oh multiplier wall we have it multiplier wall let's use it there will be concrete isolation and brick Okay, why not? We'll do it. But the sickness in our case should be let's check the sickness. Three hundred eighteen millimeters. Three hundred. Mm 
Eighteen millimeters. Okay, it's really big. Here is five hundred seventy. 570 it's not applicable for us because we need 380. We'll go to the material and this is sickness. Maybe we will use 200. 200, okay. 200 and we'll check the ceramics bricks. No, we can check. Maybe we'll check the thickness of the material that we put in the universe. Okay. Now we have 380, so we have needable thickness of the material, what we need. From the right, it's not from the right. Okay, we have the right. Okay, we Okay, I think that we need to. Okay, no, I will not change. Maybe it will be applicable for us. Right, it. Every time we need to change the point of the 
deployment. So from the right axis or left axis. Excess sickness. Sickness of my hundred hundred eighty hundred eighty. Because here is isolation inside. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's located inside the building. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think if you need to check the first, um, I will show you, for example. When you apply the wall, then you can go to the layers and you can actually choose the layer. So the thickness of the layer, the first, uh, the type of uh, isolation also can be changed. And you can put, for example, one layer on the top position, for example, created the first, if it uh, stay inside the building, for example, Isolation layer can be located first, and then other layers. I will not actually check it, so how it's standing. If you need, please cha change the first, the second, so make it upper or lower, so actually how you need it, okay? And of course, change the thicknesses. Rates in some, in some places, 200. 80 in some places, 380. Okay, so actually, how you need it because I just uh, show how you can do it and uh, the real uh, dimensions, how you need to apply, please apply by yourself. Okay, directly according to your task. I don't like it. I need to use this point. Yes. Mm -hmm.
So you can uh, do it for the central of the columns. It's a no problem because when you will finish creating your building, you will choose uh, the option to reach the bars and plates, interact all elements. And uh, of course, these two elements will be interacted and the column will stay in column and the wall will be again the wall. So don't uh, worry about it. One side of our building is ready. Then we'll create the opening inside it and the balcony doors. Let's go to other side. First of all, we'll finish our horizontal parts of the walls and then vertical, actually from our view. Let's finish adding the rules. So as I told you, you should carry through like the thicknesses of the walls and change. 
it when you need because for me it's not the main idea that's why there were something like this non sprightly cleared it was This part can be like this, and you can move it. So we actually like that on it. Okay, so we finished creating our external walls. In the next lesson, we'll continue adding our partitions.